Welcome to the Writer's Journey Podcast. I'm Michael Laron, a science fiction and fantasy author on a journey to go from nobody to bestseller, and I'm documenting every step of the way. Tune in every week as I pull back the curtain on my writing life and how I'm building a writing career while working a full-time job, raising a family, and attending law school classes in the evenings. You can find show notes for this week's episode, a free starter library of my fiction, and much more at michaellaron.com. Enjoy the show. Hello, and welcome to episode 64. This week, I wanted to give a quick studio update because it is the final week before I can actually start getting all my stuff. So it is Thursday, and all of my my the rest of my furniture, so my bookcase and my desk, are scheduled to come on Saturday. So they're going to come on Saturday, and then I'm going to put them together. And then I've got a few other things that I have to do, like i got to hang this mirror, and then I've got to hang a picture frame. And then I'm ready to roll. So I am super excited. I got my desk chair this past weekend, so I put that together. It took me probably twice as long as it should have because I don't know how to read directions. But um, it hasn't fallen apart on me yet, so all is good. And so I'm I'm super excited for next week. Like I'm I'm pumped. I, I'm, I'm counting down. Like I'm I'm just I'm like a, I'm like a dog straining on a leash. You know I'm just ready to get at it. So so this week what I wanted to talk about was I got a really thoughtful email from a reader um, or a YouTube subscriber and this person was a developer and they they asked me hey I'm I'm, I'd like to build a writing app but I don't really know what writers want what what is it that you would want in a writing app for today's platform so in other words what what are the writing apps what are the writing app features that are missing today or what are the writing app features of the future that you think writers are going to need. And I thought it was a really thoughtful email because it made me sit back and think, yeah, that's a really good question. What what do writing apps today need? So you, you guys know that I've done lots and lots of content on writing videos. My, uh, my Scrivener, Learn Scrivener in 20 Minutes tutorial is one of the most popular YouTube videos on my channel. And um, um, I've done videos on Ulysses and Ulysses versus Scrivener and, you know, the top 10 free writing apps, the top 10 paid writing apps. I mean, I've done a lot of content on writing apps and I've talked a lot about them. And and the main reason for that is because I really do believe that the tool that you use is the most important thing when you're writing, right? I think people, they, they either overestimate or they underestimate the tool, but the tool is important and mastering that tool is equally as important. And you want an app that will help you do that. And so it got me thinking a little bit about what I think the writing apps of the future are going to need and, and what are some of the things I think that people are, are, are they're not necessarily asking for now, but, but they're definitely going to need. And so uh, number one is universal platforms. So there's really no writing apps today that are on equally on Windows, Mac, Linux, iOS and iPad, Android, and a browser version. That doesn't exist today, right? I mean, if you use Scrivener, Scrivener has a, it's primarily for Mac, but it has a Windows version. But let's just be honest, it, it, the Windows version is just not quite as good as the Mac version. Um, and there is no Android version of Scrivener iOS. So you, if you, you have an Android phone, you can't write on the go with Scrivener. Um, same thing with Ulysses. Ulysses is Mac only. Um, there are a couple of different writing apps out there that have Windows and Mac versions, but then they don't have mobile versions, right? So what I'm asking for is no matter what device you have, you can be able to write on that same app. So no matter what you've got, you can write and sync between it. Windows, Mac, uh, Android, Linux, um, iOS, iPad, browser versions. Um, I think that the writing app, the writing apps of the future sh- should allow you to write unencumbered. So that's the first thing. I think number two would be simplified ebook and print formatting. And, and some people question me on this a little bit. You know, I, yes, Scrivener has the compile feature. Yes, Ulysses has a, a compile feature that allows you to do some customization. But I, I think the writing apps of today. They make formatting too complicated. I think what people really want is just an easy click and it goes to the format that they want. And I think that apps like Vellum have proven that. And they've proven that people don't necessarily want 
tons of like customization and tons of features. Um, they just want they just want it to be easy. And I, I think that writing apps today have a la, long way to go um, to make formatting easy. Again, I think that should be simplified. There's really only like two writing apps that allow you to even to even format things for print these days. So I think print formatting is that is that next frontier um, that writing apps have not tackled. But I think that Vellum uh, really has won this game. But I don't think they should be the only player in town. So number three was a way for um, an editor to track changes within a writing app without having to export to Word. Um, like if you think about it today, you write your novel and then you export that to Microsoft Word if, if you don't use Microsoft Word. So say you write your novel in Scrivener and Ulysses. You export that novel to Microsoft Word. It goes to your editor. Your editor uses track changes. And then you get that document back. Depending on the app you use, you might be able to re-import um, your manuscript with those changes back into your writing app, which is great. But most of the time you can't. So then you have to track the changes and, and, and address those changes in Microsoft Word before bringing them back into your writing app. And I just think the whole experience is really, really clunky. What I would like to see is the ability to basically finish your novel, lock access to it in the app, and then and then send the editor a permission or access code, and then the editor can get into the, the editor uses the same app as you, they go in and they have the same functionality and features as they would with Microsoft Word, but then they do track changes within the writing app. And when they're done, they unlock the access and send it back to you. And then all you have to do is just go in and, and address the changes. And then you can, as soon as you're done, you're ready to, to export and compile all within the app. I, I just think that that's, it's just, it, it's just not there yet. It just doesn't, there's no easy way to, to get things to an editor and back without having to export and re-import and all sorts of things. And I, I, I do think that there would be a great way to uh, streamline that. Number four, um, I think, is integration with ProWritingAid and Grammarly. Um, ProWritingAid and Grammarly are great apps. Um, they both, they, Grammarly is better for, for nonfiction. ProWritingAid is better for fiction. But I think that they both do a good job of helping you capture some typos and, and grammatical errors that maybe you didn't you didn't know existed, right? Um, I think anything you can do to catch typos before a book goes into publication, I think is a good thing. And I think that they do a good job there. I think that ProWriting Aid and Grammarly are really, and, and, and grammar apps in general, are really in the infancy of what they can truly do. I really, they really haven't, they're not using AI yet. Um, not really in a way that is, is, is helping you become a better version of yourself. And I think that that's, that's the next level for those, those apps. And I think that any writing app, I think if, if you're not going to offer advanced spell checking on the level of pro writing aid and Grammarly, at least open up and integrate with them so that people can do it. Um, I think that's a, I hope that's a pretty simple ask. And then this is the one that I think people were kind of like, Oh, this is, this is kind of weird. <laughs> what are you talking about here? Um, Cause I, I posted, some of this stuff on Twitter. And number five is, uh, I have to caveat this by saying, I don't think this is something that's going to be available in the next year, in the next two years, or even the next 10 years. But I think it's something that writers need. And I think it's something that writers need that I don't know that people know that they need it. And that is assisted writing services to help you write in real time. So I'm not saying that, an, that, that AI should write books. Like I'm not saying, oh, you should let an AI suggests what's going to happen in your story. People hear assisted writing services and AI, they think that. For example, let's let's think about this a different way. For example, maybe the app uses predictive modeling to track your editing habits. So all those times that you send your book to your editor and your editor makes changes, maybe the app is silently paying attention to that in the background. So maybe, you know, you're you're missing articles, you know, or you're you're forgetting to put the word the between between words, or just simple stuff. So when you're writing your next novel, and you accidentally forget to 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 write the word the, the app stops you and, and recommends that in real time, um, and then it it makes recommendations in real time with edits and suggestions that your editor has made in the past. You know, 
I think that's really interesting because it, it helps you, again, compete against yourself and be a better version of yourself. So again, I think using predictive modeling and looking at everything that you've written in the past and helping you um, use that to write better, I think it's something that writing apps just aren't quite there yet. So, you know, I, I wrote on Twitter, <laughs> what if what if you could train a writing app to think and edit like you, right? Instead of, you know, placing some archaic rules of English against your book and, and tons of grammar and, and copy rules that don't even make sense, what if the suggestions were all suggestions um, that you yourself would make and edit that maybe you just didn't get to because you, you blew through the first draft or um, whatever reasons. I, I think that would be interesting. Um, and, and this is another thing that I, I talk about. And I, I think that it's, it's writing is really just problem solving in disguise. You know, if, if you think about your manuscript and you think about all the things that you're doing when you're writing, you're really just solving problems, right? Like when you, when you, when you get to a new scene, how do you start that scene? That's a problem that you have to solve. How do you introduce a new character? That's a problem that you have to solve. How do you get the character from point A to point B? It's a problem you have to solve. How do you um, compile with a certain image in the footer or in the header of your, your chapters? That's a problem. And so the process of writing is really just problem solving. And I think that the writing apps of the future are going to be able to help you solve those problems better instead of just simply offering you a tool to help you figure it out and do it yourself. I think that writing apps today are kind of dumb writing apps. Not dumb in the sense that they're stupid, but dumb in the sense that they don't really do much more than what you pay them to do. But I think the writing apps of the future are going to be smarter. So I need an app that can help me with consistency problems, right? So if my hero is wearing a t-shirt on page five and a sweater on page six, I want the app, not an editor, to tell me that immediately. Why? Because it saves me money on editing <laughs> and it saves my editor time, right? Like I want an app that can, I can ask, hey, show me every instance when I referenced my hero's mom. And then, you know, a, a list will magically appear of all of that. You can kind of do that today in some writing apps through the use of keywords and tags, but it's pretty laborious. I think it would be interesting if, if the app could automatically do that. What if an app could automatically recognize any time you started when you were writing, Anytime you started introducing a new character, and then as you did that, um, after you introduced the character, the app pops up a, a small alert, and it says, hey, we think that you introduced a new character. Is that true? And if you click yes or you click no, and then the app thinks, and it, it produces a, a list of traits and things that you, you've done with the character, and it says, is, are all of these things true? And it might say, character's wearing blue jeans, character has brown eyes, characters wearing a top hat or whatever, you know, and you confirm or deny all those things or you have the ability to add additional character details. And so then the next time you, you have a, a, a chapter with that character, the app checks what you've written versus what you have logged and what 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 is in the past, what you've written in that fo the, the former chapter. And then if you have a character wear trousers, for example, the app can say, hold on a second. In the last chapter, this character was wearing jeans. Did they change clothes, right? And so it's this constant conversation that the app is having with you to help you stay consistent. I think that's the future. I think that freaks a lot of people out. And you know, when I speak on Twitter about stuff like this, <laughs> no one pays attention to me because I think that's, again, that's, that's several years in the future. Um, yeah, so like I said, I'm not asking for an AI to write an app, but... You know, there are there are things in the future that I think we can do and I think that we can do better. Um, and I think that writers at, at some point are going to start asking for. So those are some of the things that were on my mind. I thought it was a kind of a cool post um, to do on the back of the episode last week where I talked about uh, the author technology of the future. But I didn't really address writing apps per se. So that's all I've got for this week. I'll be back next week with a great studio update. So wherever you all are, I hope you're having a great week, and I'll talk to you next week. Thanks for joining me this week. If you like this episode, you'll enjoy my backlist episodes at michaellaron.com slash podcast. 
For your free starter library of my favorite novels, join my fan club by visiting michaelleron.com slash fan club. If you're a writer and you want to connect with me further, check out my YouTube channel, Author Level Up, for helpful writing advice at authorlevelup.com. Thanks for listening, and I'll be back next week.